thing about a designer is um, a performer is probably looking at their part and, and, and how they fit into the whole, the whole thing. And as a designer, what you do is look at the whole. You're always looking at the world. What's the world of this, of this place? That's your starting point. And then what gives you a what gives you the key into that world of that of, of the starting point? And for me, it was boats. There are three trips on a boat, and so the boat technology, boat, um, the, the 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 look of a boat, the ropes of a boat, all that started to make. You know, I think I started off with um, a deck. I like solid shapes. I like really clear shapes because when you're working outside particularly and this was an outside show what you need is a really clear shape to work on a square a triangle or a circle and i love circles so this was that that was the idea and right in the middle of the circle which looked like a deck of a boat was a mast and then from there we just we could do things with that mast <laughs> having worked with with Nehive, you know, for a good 10 years before that, um, I realized that, that, you know, the idea of a designer who does decoration and does a backdrop is, a, you know, is a pathetic <laughs> creature <laughs> with, with knee high. And what you need is a really robust set that's almost like an adventure playground. You want to get on it and play on it and swing on it and climb it and jump off of it and all those sort of things. And as so all the sets I designed, and Tristan the Sold is not an exception, um, was based on activity. They are active, they're verbs, not nouns. You do stuff with them. Because we had the possibility of a mast, I think it gave us the opportunity to look at what we could do with with a, rather than just run a sail up and down it. And obviously all these things are very collaborative. You know, a, a designer for Nehi doesn't sit in an attic and any more than a writer sits in an attic and hands something in. You know, the, you, you collaborate. You're, you're talking all the time about what the possibilities are. So somebody at Nehi is always going to say, possibly Emma, possibly Giles, possibly, you know, could I hang off of this? Can I... Can I swing off of this? And and I think the idea of putting a T-bar on the top of the mast, and when we did it outside, it could swing all the way around. Um, and so people literally could just put their hand in a loop, be pulled up, swing all the way around, um, join, kiss. So that there was a whole choreography of what that mast might be able to do. Um, plus, it does everything else. We, we you know, we needed to get height and and basically you're in the middle of a field what do you what do you do um well you cut a hole in the floor you make another disc and suddenly you can haul i never did it <laughs> it was very scary but you could haul the whole of that disc up with somebody sat on it the white hands character and um they went quite high i mean they were up about 12 14 feet sometimes um I, c I can remember the time frame for make, make, making the show because it really was almost a standing start. I think I had a bit of a heads up. Obviously, um, some people had been starting to write things probably a couple of weeks, three weeks beforehand. Um, we hadn't done any R&D and, and, and anything like that. I would got some notions about what the set was going to be like. But um, really, we, all had, we had to do everything, almost everything, in, in, within the rehearsal time. And, and that is a creative pressure. Um, it's a risky creative, creative pressure, but uh, you know when it comes off, and I and it did, my God, it's good, um, and and you are in a you're, you're you're in a sort of pressure tank, and and you have you know you have to do the goods, and you've got a deadline that's, that that's coming up. Um, so yeah, I I mean I probably had a couple of weeks thinking about it, bringing things in, and all the rest of it, because also I'm trying to deliver. A very active set that the performers absolutely need to get on otherwise you're not talking about well it's you know they don't know which way the door handles work or you know um smoothing out the um the, the doilies on the on the table what you're talking about here is is sort of life and death stuff you know <laughs> people are going to go up and um, and trust other people and you've got to rehearse that you've really got to rehearse that so knee is a collaborative company I, you know when i when i joined 
people worked together and, and, and made things happen. Uh, by the time we got to, to Tristan and Sol, there was a there's a production team, you know, there's there's a there's a, there's a, there's a creative team, I think it's called, um, and Emma is driving that. Emma, as, as as a director, in the form that we choose to work in, is driving it, not a script. It's the, it's the director that drives, um, and um, to do to put something like that on, she will have a very very close relationship with me, as a, as the designer who's always looking for how to make the show work not to make the most beautiful thing in the world um, and 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 get my name in lights but how do you make this machine for telling this story that's what a design is she'll also have that exactly the same relationship with the musical director who's giving who's giving the other part of the world and she's describing that world she's she's creating that world um, she'll also be working so closely with, with, with performers. She, she, we didn't have much time to do R&D on Tristan and Soul. We didn't have uh, much money to do, to do that. So um, all those characters, everything, and the, and, and the plot line was pulled together while she's also working very, very closely with um, Anna, who, who, who wrote um, a lot of the script, and Carl, who wrote a lot of the script. Um, it's interesting. Um, it was only when we, I, I think I did my third version of um, Tristan, third or fourth, I can't remember now. Um, and we were opening in, in, in Leeds. And I, I, because, because a lot of the work was done, I ended up watching a lot more rehearsal than I normally would. And I realised how much Emma had written. And she'd never really said. And she, the the whole White Hands character uh, and situation um, was very much from her. It was a really quite a powerful thing, and, and I thought very very powerful writing. And I realised for the first time, and it was after after probably after about ten years uh, of, of of seeing this thing go out, how much that shaped the show. And 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 of course, there's there's very good writing ar around that. But even the writing, it was a, it was a collaboration of three people. The music is a collaboration of two people, her and her and Stu. The, the design is a collaboration between me and her, and she will come up with ideas. One of the things about Nehi that I love is you really have to get rid of ego very, very quickly. You, prima donnas don't last. <laughs> it's, there's no place um, for somebody to think, it's all about me, and uh, it, it just doesn't work like that. Um, you have to just, you throw your ideas into the into the pool. You 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 become a team making something. And I think that's exactly what theatre is.